Hello, I'm David Wilkinson. I'm the director of Centre I and the author of The Ambiguity Advantage. In this, the second of the short series of two to three minute videos of decision making area errors, we're going to have a look at a thing called the probability fallacy. Now, I'm going to give you a couple of examples first, then explain what it is, and then give you a few more examples. There are lots of hackers online, and sooner or later, if you surf online, your computer will get hacked. And the second example of this type of error of thinking is that some tourists in New York get mugged. I won't go to New York because I don't want to get mugged. So what's happening here is that I'm taking a probability of some action happening and turning it into a certainty, as you heard in the preceding examples. So a probability fallacy takes the form of um, P is, the prob is a probability of something happening, and therefore there's the assumption that P will happen with certainty. And what happens with people is that they disregard the possibility that P won't occur, and they make the argument a certainty. When they make the argument a certainty, everybody else tends to think that it is a certainty. So, we'll have a look at two more um, examples now. And in each of the following examples, you'll see where I've taken a probability of something happening and turned it into a certainty. So, the first example is um, that the, at the moment, the banks aren't lending very much money. There's no way that you will be able to get a mortgage from one. As you can see, I've just turned a probability into a certainty. And the second and last example here is that you can't start a business in a recession. Don't even try, because no startup business in a recession will make money, and they'll, they always all go bust. You can see what happens here. So, with a probability fallacy, what we do is we turn a probability into a certainty. And a good thing to start to do is to start listening around your organization or wherever it is that you are and listen for probability fallacies. You'll find them all over the place. And actually, when we get to decision making and problem solving, you'll see that this fallacy changes the way that people solve problems and actually changes the solutions that they come around because of this fallacy.